Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my first impressions video of The Spy Who Dumped Me. Now, I was mainly interested in watching this movie because it starred Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis. Both ladies I have a casual crush on. And yes, I know that Kate McKinnon is gay. Don't matter. An attractive gay woman is still an attractive woman. So, you know, you got two leads that are uh, very attractive. I'm interested, or at least it'll get my attention. And Kate McKinnon is very funny. I love her on Saturday Night Live, and I pretty much enjoyed her, her in all the movie appearances that she made. Uh, Kate McKinnon is kind of like The Rock. You know, if you put Dwayne Johnson in your movie, whether your movie is good or your movie is bad, Dwayne Johnson was going to deliver an excellent performance. You're going to enjoy him. So I figured, at the very least, I would enjoy uh, Kate McKinnon and get some laughs, which I did. And Mila Kunis, I just like looking at her. And, you know, she delivers an okay performance, but I was being just there to look at her. And uh, I didn't know that Gillian Anderson uh, is in this movie, and she is looking super fine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She has uh, definitely uh, kept herself in excellent, marvelous health. <laughs> uh, now, I'm not really into these kind of comedies, the raunchy, uh, hard art kind of comedies, especially things like uh, the bad Santa, bad mom, bad teacher kind of comedies, uh, the horrible bosses kind of comedies, anything like that. But, again, I figured I could uh, enjoy the ladies, and I did. To my great surprise, the stunt work in this movie is amazing. There are amazing stunts. There are amazing fight scenes. So, I was very impressed. I was like, Wow, it's almost felt uh, these stunts it were too good for the type of movie they were making. Uh, and the characters that uh, McKinnon and Kunis are portraying, I like them a little more than some of the other uh, raunchy R uh, adventure buddy dumb comedies. Uh, I like them more than the horrible bosses protagonists. I even like them a little more than the uh, girls trip protagonists. But at the same time, they pretty much come off as like a few notches. Uh, <laughs> below Beavis and Butthead because they're both kind of ditzy, dumb, uh, barely know what they're doing. And sure, they're ordinary girls, but it's like they get into such stupid situations, get out of them stupidly. It's like you feel like you're watching a really awful cartoon. You feel like you're watching uh, Ren and Stimpy <laughs> or something like that. So, yeah, um, I don't hate it. Uh, I recommend it if you like raunchy R-rated comedies, if you like the bad moms and the uh, horrible bosses and the gay nights and all that kind of stuff, fine, check it out. But if it's not for you, skip it, <laughs> okay? Uh, and as I said, I was mainly interested in seeing the actresses just for seeing the actresses. And on that front, I was happy. Hey, I went to go see Catwoman, even though I knew it was Catwoman because I wanted to see uh, Halle Berry run around and skin tight later. I was pleased. I went to this movie because I wanted to uh, enjoy Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon. I enjoyed them. <laughs> okay, so those are my first impressions of The Spy Who Dumped Me. Uh, be sure to share any comments or questions you have in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Hill Knight. Thank you for watching. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.